Hello Mario, we Hello. are here in Singapore and I want to ask you a few questions about the tyre compound this weekend. Of course it's a hot race, it's going to be a, probably quite a wet race. Can you just run us through basically what have we got in front of us here? Yeah, first of all let's talk about the slicker compounds. We have as usual three compounds selected in the range of six compounds homologated for 2025. We, on this circuit uh, we use uh, soft compounds. So yeah. the C3 is the hard, C4 is the medium, C5 is the soft because this is a, a low severity circuit uh, where you you don't put a lot of energy so you need a tire that is soft enough to generate the grip. And how does the heat play a factor in the compound that we use? Of course it's going to be a warm track but with the softer rubber there just isn't enough energy even still? Yeah, yeah. usually in hot conditions the problem is uh, to cool down the tire especially on the straight but uh, here is not. It's more for the rear tires because the main mechanism of degradation here is thermal degradation from the rear. Yep. So the teams are focusing a car setup that is protecting a little bit the, okay. the rear. So that's the dry compound. Now we know that Singapore loves to bring those mixed conditions. Yes. And that's when we walk down here and have a look at the intermediate and yeah. the wet tire. Now there's been a lot of talk about the wet tire this year and how it hasn't been used all that much. We might see the inter tomorrow in the race. How might that play an effect this weekend? Yeah, consider the intermediate is designed uh, to work in damp condition or wet condition without standing water. So in case of a thunderstorm here in Singapore, it's difficult also for the intermediate to work yeah. properly. And in that case, you need to feed the extreme wet. Why the extreme wet is not used? Because of visibility. Exactly. When you use this kind of tire, you expel 85 liters of water per second at 300 kph. This water has to go somewhere. That means a spray in the air. Correct. And that means that you don't have visibility. There's a lot of talk about fans getting upset that we don't see wet racing. It's not a grip issue. It's a visibility issue. It is. Sometime also with the intermediate. We want everyone to be safe. The intermediate be ready it's looking like we're going to have some mixed conditions this weekend absolutely now if it stays dry what sort of strategy might we see it could be a one-stop strategy because in Singapore it's quite difficult to overtake yeah. so they try to minimize the number of uh, pit stops uh, and uh, one stop a medium hard uh, the most popular but uh, also the soft uh, could be an option because we yeah. have seen during free practice that the uh, soft is working well yeah. so a two stop is an option especially now because they decided to increase uh, the speed uh, limit in the pit lane yes. uh, from 60 to 80. A far less loss in the pit lane. Exactly, yeah. from 28 seconds to down to 21, 22. So that opens up that two stop that little bit more, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, they are very close at the moment. So maybe start on the medium, see if you can extend that first stint and play it out as we go. You know Singapore, there might be a safety car or a red flag, so you've really got to bide your time around here. Thank you so much, Mario. Thank That's you. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank and you. let's see how this all pans out.